this is an international definition which has been agreed by many countries and of course this definition includes the traditional forms of anti-semitism such as calling for the killing of jews or making fun of jewish people because of what they look like but it also includes other forms of anti-semitism um, such as holding an individual responsible for the actions of uh, the israeli government for example um, or for equating the actions of the Israeli government today with that of Nazi Germany um, back in the 30s and 40s. So this international definition is important. I think if we adopt it um, as a policy position in Australia, it provides that guidance for institutions and particularly our universities to be able to um, call out poor behaviour when they see it. It's never going to stop anti-Semitism altogether. Anti-Semitism has been going on for thousands of years, but it can make a difference, and particularly some of the anti-Semitism from the left, where we've seen very significant increases in recent times.